Hey, what's up guys? My name's Adam, I also go by HypePV, and I've had the privilege of working with the guys over at MultiGP on the design for this new regional finals track. Now they pulled me into the project with the track already created, just working on some tweaks and kind of fine tuning a few things, and they asked me to go ahead and drop this whole design into my external track builder and build it to scale in the liftoff world so that it will fly just as it does in the real world. So let's go ahead and take a moment and pop over to a screen share here and look at how we actually install all these tracks and where to put the files for both the track and the race mode. Alright, so the first step is to open Steam and go into your library. You're going to scroll down your games list and right click on liftoff and hit properties. Now you see there's four tabs at the top, one of them being local files. We'll click that, then we'll click on browse local files, and that's going to open a folder here that shows you the liftoff application and the liftoff data. If you click on this liftoff data, you're going to see that there's a series of folders in here. One of these folders is the tracks folder, and then you have your races folder. Now if these two folders aren't here, you'll have to create them. That just means that you haven't used the in-game track builder to date. Um, they may have updated that and it may be there already for you. That's great. If not, just go ahead and create them. And then we're going to go ahead and download the files for the multi-GP regional finals. And in here you're going to see two XML files. Now you have one that has multi-GP regional finals.xml and that guy goes into your tracks folder. Then you're going to grab the multi-GP regional finals underscore race file. Now that one obviously goes into the races folder. So then if we open lift off here and we go to free flight, then we'll scroll over and load lift off arena. Then we're going to see the built-in tracks and then multi-GP regional finals. On the other level, if we go back to the main menu and we click on the race menu option, select play. We'll scroll over to the liftoff arena and then we'll have multi-GP regional finals right here. So click on this, click on that, then you're in the game and they should have the multi-GP regional finals track loaded up. Now, let's take a quick moment and talk through this on the Mac side of things. I've, um, I've called in Bulba Fett FPV. Be sure to check out his channel. Um, I asked him to do a little quick screen cap for me of the installation process on the Mac side of things, which will help us out over there, as I don't have a Mac. So thank you to him for that. So let's pop over there. All right, so once again on Mac, you're going to go to open Steam. You go to your library, games, browse for liftoff, right click and hit properties. You go to local files, you click browse local files, and this is going to pull up your window over here and you'll just see one icon there. You're going to right click on that and hit show package contents, go into the contents folder, then there will be a tracks folder there, and then you'll probably need to create a races folder. This is a good example, you can see Boba Fett, Paul does not have the race folder there, so he would just simply create a new one right in that directory. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or you're struggling to get your tracks and maps and races and all those XML files installed, you can't find the folders, anything of that nature, or if you have any other comments, concerns, or anything like that, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, as always, do the YouTube thing. We like, comment, subscribe, blah, 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 and I will catch you guys in the next one. Hope this helps.